COVID-19 in animals other than dogs and cats. Um, I did another video, talked mostly about dogs and cats, touched on horses briefly, but been having a lot of questions about other species. Um, do we have to worry about livestock? Do we have to worry about our horses? Um, what about some other kinds of pets? Um, the short answer is no, you don't have to worry. The long answer is no, you don't have to worry. The long dorky answer is you don't have to worry because um, the way COVID-19 multiplies in cells is that it goes through a little receptor on the cell called the ACE2 receptor or angiotensin converting enzyme 2. Um, and the, that receptor is different shape in different species. So cattle, um, horses have a very different shaped receptor than humans. And basically the virus just can't fit through the door. Um, so like if you have a little tiny cat door and you've got a big old fat German Shepherd virus, it's not going to make it through the door. Um, so those, so ruminants, goats, sheep, cows, uh, we're not worried about horses. We're not worried about um, pigs. We were a little worried about chickens. We were a little worried about um, in past outbreaks. Those are some species we've figured out have real similar receptor to ours. There was some concern there. Um, but a couple different studies out of China. I know if you don't trust Chinese info, but right now that's the place that had the time and the money to study it because it's been there the longest. Um, but they did some pretty good studies. Um, it's just preliminary reports right now, but um, the reports are looking like, no, um, pigs fortunately do not seem to get COVID-19. They did get the original SARS virus, um, but for whatever reason, they are just not getting infected with COVID-19. And this is where we're talking. People are taking it, shooting it up their nose um, to try to force them to be infected and it's not happening. So bacon is safe. Hallelujah. Um, chickens did not get infected with it either. Um, that's good because, um, obviously on the commercial side, that can be devastating when it runs through a barn of, you know, three, four million chickens. And also, um, chickens, there was a run on baby chicks, just like there was a run on toilet paper for whatever reason. I don't know, America, you're weird. Um, I mean, not that I don't love baby chicks. Don't get me wrong. I've got like 30 of them. Um, but the, we actually sold out of baby chicks like across the country, um, because everybody went and got chickens cause they were going to be stuck at home anyways. They're safe. No worries there. Um, the one species that was actually fairly susceptible, and the poor little buggers are probably going to end up being the research animals for it, is ferrets. Um, two different studies looked at experimentally infecting ferrets. Again, giant dose, shot up their nose, not really real world, but they got it. Some ferrets got sick in the one study. A lot of them got sick in the other study. Only a few did. Got a little fever. Didn't want to eat for a couple days. None of them died. None of them developed the nasty lung stuff that people seem to be getting. Um, but they definitely got infected and they were definitely able to spread it to other ferrets. So um, ferrets are potentially a concern. Um, if you have a ferret, though, keep in mind, don't be stupid. He's not your emotional support ferret. He's not your seeing eye ferret. Do not take him to the grocery store. Keep him home. The only way your ferret's going to get infected is if you give it to him, if you keep him at your house. So um, no reason to freak out if you have a ferret. But if you do have symptoms of COVID-19 and you have someone else that can take care of your ferret, that would probably be a good idea just to be on the safe side. Um, but again, you know, he might get a little punky for a few days. And again, this is probably not super likely they'll get it. But if they do, um, he'll get over it. Don't, don't dump your ferrets, for God's sakes. I mean, unless you want to give them to me, because I actually really like ferrets. Um, my address is... Just kidding. Don't. My husband will divorce me. Um, but yeah, ferrets potentially could be... Is our one species that seems to be a high risk of getting infected. Um, just use caution with your ferrets. Uh, but you can eat eggs. You can drink milk. You can eat bacon. You can snuggle your pet pig if you're vegan. Cool more power to you, but your pet pigs are fine. Your chickens are fine. Cows, don't worry about them. Um, otherwise, everybody just stay home, stay safe, and enjoy your mandatory forced vacation in which you can't buy plants in the state of Michigan.